what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A man who donated a kidney to a woman he loves was overjoyed with saving her life, but saddened when she rejected his marriage proposal. Simon popped a question to Mary after nursing her back to health following both of their operations. This is a story for the ages. If you can get through this video, I can promise you it's going to be one of the most compelling stories you ever heard in your life. Simon had carried the torch for over two decades for Mary and had secret hopes of spending the rest of their lives together. But Mary says she gently rejected the proposal, though she loved him back because her health made her future seem uncertain. However, the pair vowed to remain friends and Simon 49 said, I offered my heart, but I had to settle to give her my kidney. Whatever happens, I'll never regret giving her the gift of life. The pair met in a London club in the 1990s when Mary was 20 and Simon was 28. They shared an odd smooch and flirted, but things between them never progressed further. As the years passed, they stayed paths. Mary busy with her son, Dwayne, and her job as a stockbroker secretary, while Simon helped his brother organize music events. Simon, who had other relationships, but never lost his feelings for Mary, would think of her on Valentine's Day and buy her a rose or some chocolates. Then in September of 2014, Mary, who was only 37 years old, suddenly collapsed at her home after her skin went yellow. Her son, Dwayne, 21, found her on the floor choking in her own vomit, and she was rushed to Guy's Hospital in South London. She was in a coma for a night after a brain hemorrhage, spent two months in intensive care, and was eventually diagnosed with end-stage kidney disease. Her only hope was a transplant, but the chances of a donor being found were drastically reduced because she was a very rare B negative blood. She was discharged from the hospital in January 2015, but had to return daily to be put on a kidney dialysis machine. Simon visited her every day, sometimes staying the night, so he could help her get to and from the hospital. He also helped to dress, bathe, and feed her. And thanks, Mary took him on a holiday to Spain, and while they were there, a donor was found. But they did not get back to Britain in time, so the kidney was given to someone else. It was then Simon suggested he get tested to see if he shared her blood type. Turns out, he was a match. After learning he was a good fit, they underwent months of assessments before the successful surgery. They end up living in Simon's London flat. They nursed one another back to health. At that point, shortly after, Simon proposed. Mary say she let him down easy. She said, I gotta think about this. After thinking about it, she said, no. And her reasoning was that she didn't want to mess up the special friendship they had. She also said that she wanted to make sure she got better before she wedded. Simon took it on the chin. He said, I don't have any regrets. I'll do it again. This is the type of stuff you do for somebody that you love. What a story. What an incredible story. Now, I can only think of myself here. What would Willie do? <laughs> First of all, I would not have been waiting on anybody for two decades. That's insane. A friend, let's say I had somebody that I loved romantically. I wanted to be with this person. She didn't want to be with me. And we developed a friendship, but in the back of my mind, and I went on and I had other relationships, but in the back of my mind, I was always, man, that would be cool if I could, we could hook up and we could be together. So at this point, this is probably somebody, if we're friends, this is probably somebody that I really love. 
And if I had taken the steps to see if I'm a good match and I went through the surgery, gave her my kidney, I'd be cool with that. I mean, it'll be really fucked up that she got my kidney and she enjoying drinks with some other dude. Ah, oh, man. That'd be messed up. But, man, you know, that's, that's how it goes, man. What's that old saying? It takes a fool to learn that love don't love nobody. So I get it. But dudes sound like a first-class simp. Ain't no way I wait on somebody for two decades. I'm moving on, man. You got to move on. That's kind of cold, though, man. He saved her life. And she ruined his. <laughs> I mean, it's not really funny, but uh, it is kind of funny. This reminds me of Griff Bart's Law. Uh, and I, listen, I don't present Brief Fault's Law as fact, and I don't dismiss it as fiction, but it is something to think about. Basically, Brief Fault's Law states that when you're dealing with a woman, any past benefits does not guarantee future association. In other words, you gave me a kidney. But what have you done for me lately? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.